When I first heard that the actor who used to play Batman in the movies was going to play Moses, Moshe, in the new movie about the Exodus, I was a little disappointed. As I explained in a prior video, it's really the story of Superman that's based on Moshe's story, not Batman. The little baby who's placed by his parents in the rocket on Krypton and blasted into space. And the little baby who's placed by his parents in the basket in the Nile. But then I thought about it and I realized that maybe it was a good casting choice. Because really, Moshe has much more in common with Batman than with Superman. Think about it. Batman and Moshe are both so famous, neither one would ever need an introduction at a party. Now you'll say to me, Superman's also famous. Correct, but consider. Batman and Moshe both have trusty sidekicks, Robin and Aaron, Aharon. Batman and Moshe both have signature weapons. Batman has his batarang, and Moshe has his staff. Batman and Moshe both wear masks. Batman's we know about. Moshe's is less well known, but take a look at Exodus chapter 34, passage 33. You'll see that when Moshe brought the second tablets down from the mountain, his face was glowing. It was radiant. And thereafter, he started wearing a mask. And most important, neither Batman nor Moshe was born with superpowers. Unlike Clark Kent, Bruce Wayne had to work very hard to develop his abilities. Can you teach me how to fight? Yes, Master Bruce. Yes, I can. And Moshe also had to work very hard to develop his abilities. He had to face and pass so many tests. First, the Egyptian taskmaster was torturing the Jew. Is he going to get involved? Yes. Then is two Jews fighting going to get involved now, or are you going to stay on the sidelines? He gets involved. Now it's a fight amongst the non-Jews. He gets involved again when he stops the shepherds from tormenting the daughters of Yisrael. And now it's a matter of protecting property, and he makes sure to graze Yisro's flock, his sheep, on ownerless land so that they won't steal. And then the Medrash tells us that one day one of those sheep is lagging behind, and Moshe goes to see what's going on, and he finds that that sheep is sick or injured, and he picks it up, and he tenderly puts it on his shoulders and carries it back to the flock. And that's when God in heaven says, that's the man that I want to lead my flock. But there's one more test at the burning bush. He sees the bush. It's on fire. It's not being consumed. Now, many of us would just keep walking. Don't look over there. Something really weird is going on. Something supernatural. There may be a God involved. If there's a God and he created the earth, then that means that he created me. If he created me, he can make demands on me. If he makes demands on me, then I'm going to have to start living up to my obligations instead of yelling about my rights. But Moshe doesn't do that. He doesn't ignore it. He says, let me turn and look. Let me investigate this incredible sight. Why is that bush on fire without it being consumed? And God reaches out to him, calls him by name. Moshe says, here I am. And the first thing God tells him is, don't come any closer. Take off your shoes. Why? I saw a beautiful explanation. Because when we're wearing shoes, we can walk practically anywhere. We can walk on boiling hot surfaces. We can walk over nails, over glass, over shards without getting hurt. But when we're barefoot, we've got to be very careful. We've got to make sure not to step on something that can injure us or puncture our feet. And we can't walk on a surface that's too hot or we'll get scalded. And so that's what God was telling Moshe. From now on, I want you to walk barefoot spiritually. It's easier to find me in a burning bush or in a rainbow or at the Swiss Alps or at the Grand Canyon. It's tougher to find me in the more mundane areas and venues and times of life. I want you to be barefoot spiritually so that you'll look for me everywhere in life and you'll find me and you'll come closer to me and bring others closer to me. And so that's our job. Our job is to learn how to fight against our baser urges, to learn how to take off our shoes and walk barefoot spiritually, to become more sensitive, to find God not just in the natural wonders and not just in times of stress or distress, but to find him, to look for him in the more mundane, humdrum areas of our existence and to thereby come closer to him and bring others closer. Mm -hmm.